So we finished off last week's video talking about how week two of London Marathon training was uneventful but week three was anything but. on Monday then just to test a little niggle I had from Sunday's long run but it was fine just did two miles wasn't on the plan but very easy then the Tuesday a lot of snow came so we tried to jump out and go down to the lock shore thinking it's not going to snow down the beach but it did still got three miles done now and the cold was really starting to work on me then so I took Wednesday just for a long walk and I took the Thursday session out of the plan Rested up and rested up Friday. So I knew it felt well enough on Friday to try an easy park on Saturday. But as the day went on, this all kept getting cancelled. So I went back to the usual plan B. Saturday, at the Port Rush Park Run, Park Run on the beach again. Went out on Sunday, as per the plan. 10 miles, nice and easy. All good. So I was thinking when I was out running in trail shoes at Port Rush, I talked a wee bit about the rotation of shoes I'm using for this training block with the rationale behind each one now you go nuts for these but I think three is plenty for anyone doing a road racing marathon block the bit of advice I have is don't ever pay for the price for running shoes they always come with that early adopter tax built them when they come out wait six or eight months like I did with all of these I get them for 30, 40, sometimes 50% discount because shoes don't really innovate that much year over year so buy the one that's six or eight months old last year's model first and probably the most important shoe in the rotation is a daily and long run shoe and for me it's going to be the brooks glycerin 20 a neutral cushion shoe a deal for everyday easy recovery and long runs it's a wee bit on the heavy side but it provides really good cushion not much in the way of responsiveness but protects the legs really well over the miles as you can see it's got a really good thick arch sole which is brilliant for training in the British winter time like I am currently. Just a really well cushioned, solid, dependable trainer for day to day runs. Nothing special but it'll get you over the miles, daily ones and long ones. And yeah, I highly recommend this or the Brooks Ghost for anyone starting running. Secondly then for tempo and half or full marathon pace runs, the Saucony Endorphin Speed 3. Talked about this shoe before, so I'll not go over too much. It still feels as good to run as the day I got it. It's a soft but responsive foam, a nylon plate in the midsole, which is propulsive but a bit more forgiving on the legs than a carbon plate and is a good bit lighter than the daily shoe, which makes you really want to pick up the pace on those speeder days, including park runs. Finally, the race day shoe, and just as an aside, these new super foam carbon plated shoes are an absolute world away from the marathon shoes of only a few years ago. So the shoe I ran and PB'd in Berlin Marathon in 2018 with the minimal non-plated Adidas Adios Boost 3s here. On the completely other end of the scale from what I'm going to use this year, which is this shoe, the Saucony Endorphin Pro 3. And really the main difference between this and the Speed 3 previous is the carbon plate in the midsole and increased stack height. The upper is also a lot more minimal and the shoe itself is lighter again which will provide maximum responsiveness and energy return when picking up the pace and should help the legs keep turning over nicely as the miles tick by. I'm actually yet to run in this shoe and very interested as to how it'll stack up to the Nike options that I used last year. The Vaporfly 2 here in Great North Run which performed well but did rub the Achilles a little bit and the Alpha Fly in Berlin Marathon which was absolutely fantastic. So that's the three shoes. I'm going to be using for the rotation for London Marathon, obviously using the Glitter in the 20s to do this four mile easy run today, which I'm just about to finish. So, yeah, chat to you all next week.